I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. Brand new podcast to be exact. I got to continue on with yesterday's podcast and talk about Kanye West again. A lot of people have been asking me for months, how do I feel about Kanye West when he said in his song that he jumped over the jump, man? And I've replied to a few people on Twitter and Facebook and under Instagram photos. But this whole topic has resurfaced because today on New York Radio, Kanye West kind of spazzed out again. He was on a bunch of shows. I forgot which one he was on where he said this, but he did say that him and Don C made Jordan hot. I mean, that's crazy to me. I'm a big fan of Kanye West. I love Kanye West music. I even love his designs, all the stuff he's done as far as with fashion. But he is out of his mind. I got to just say that because a lot of people keep asking me, what do I think about that? There's no way in hell he is the reason why Jordan is hot. He is a star. He is an icon. People are very into what he wears and what he says and everything. But he's just one person out of millions that contribute to Jordan being hot. From every single ear that is listening to me speak, to me speaking, reviewing shoes, showing people the upcoming shoes, showing people shoes that came out, breaking down collections and talking about the history of these shoes on my channel my show, The Sneaker Addict Show right here, to other reviewers, you know, everyone on YouTube, love them or hate them, everyone that has a YouTube channel that talks about Jordan shoes, it's contributing to making Jordan hot, to every blog site, to everyone that messes with Jordan, makes Jordan hot, and also, if anything, shit, Jordan made Jordan hot. Michael Jordan made Jordan hot. The greatest basketball player of all times. Michael Jordan made Jordan hot. That's why after all this time that he stopped playing basketball, we're still wearing his sneakers. Because he made them legendary. Not Kanye West and his sidekick Don C wearing them. And this is with all due respect. Keep in mind, I have a lot of love and respect for Kanye West. If his team, maybe if he's even listening, I have a lot of respect for Kanye West. I love what he does. I'm a fan of what he does. But I'm just speaking my mind. Just like how he speaks his mind, this is my outlet to speak my mind. And I have a lot of people, enough people, asking me to do this right here and speak on this subject matter at hand. This guy Kanye West, his biggest problem is that he says a lot of dope stuff but what he does is he kind of just freestyles it out all the time i think and then he'll say a bunch of dope shit but then he'll say something stupid he's just letting it out he's just going off and just saying a bunch of stuff off the top and sometimes he says stuff and you're like yo that's so dope and then there's times like right now where you're like huh you must be crazy you must be high and that is definitely the case right here when i heard that today and he was saying how him and don c made Jordan brand hot. I mean, Don C? Don C? What do we know Don C for? We know him for linking up with Kanye West and Kanye West pushing him and making him hot with those hats that have some snake skin on the brim. It's a hot looking hat. He's selling them for like four or five hundred dollars. So shit, he's making his money. But at the end of the day with Don C, if I walk past him at the grocery store, I wouldn't even know who he is. I mean, that's me. Maybe you, the listener, may be like, oh my God, I see Don C. I got no clue what he looks like. And I know who most people look like that are iconic in the world. Maybe I'm off. I should know who Don C looks like. But I don't have no clue what Don C looks like. I do know what his hats look like. If I see a snapback hat with that brim and that snake skin, I know it's a Don C hat or it's a knockoff. So I'll give him that. But as far as him making Air Jordan's hat, That's crazy. And you can't even point the finger at Don C at the same time because Don C didn't say that. Kanye West said it. It's just funny to me how Kanye says the wildest shit sometimes. And this was some wild shit he said. Today, I think he had a bad day. He started off with um, The Breakfast Club. And it was kind of a smooth interview. But Charlemagne the God definitely was going in on him. And then during the Sway interview today, it got ugly. There was like... A part where they were kind of like yelling at each other and it was crazy. If you want to see those interviews, my spizot.com blog. That's my lifestyles blog that I've been working on lightly with one of my family members. So check out my spizot.com 
You'll see the logo right now as I'm speaking. Make sure to check out that blog for your lifestyle information. Anything that has to do with entertainment mixed with fashion. Not like the sneakeratic.com. Not just strictly kicks. My spiz out is more of like a lifestyles entertainment blog. If you've never heard of that blog or checked it out, make sure to check out my spiz out. Dot com. But I had to speak on this because a lot of people keep asking me how do I feel about him saying that Jordan jumped over the jump man. And I've been hitting people up, you know, direct through Twitter, Facebook, and etc. But I'll say it right now. There's no way in hell that Kanye West has jumped over a jump man when Kanye West has only sold maybe like 30,000 pairs of shoes. If not less than that. Not, that there's no way he sold 30,000 pairs of shoes. He probably sold like 10,000 pairs of shoes. That's between the Yeezy 1 and the Yeezy 2. Now, I can't take that away from him because as he was saying, and I was talking about it on yesterday's podcast, I'll put a link in the description box, he was talking about how Nike kept fronting on him and they weren't putting out what he wanted out. Like, they were making the shoe Mad Limited, they weren't even giving him a release date on the Red Octobers, and he was asking and asking, and they were just giving him the runaround and saying, we don't know yet, this and that, and the third. And that's a big reason why he left Nike, because Nike really wasn't working with him and plus, Adidas had a better offer for him where he can make more money and put out product on a regular basis instead of this once or twice a year BS that was going on with Nike. But as I was saying how I feel that there's no way in hell Kanye jumped over the Jumpman. The Yeezy did not jump over no Jumpman when the Yeezy only sold 10,000, 15,000 pieces at most. I mean, let's get real. Me, I could sell 10,000 pairs of shoes that I designed. That's not a big number right there for someone that has an okay following. And Kanye West is like one of the biggest stars in the game, if not the biggest star in the game. That's light numbers. That's like a joke. That's 10,000 for Kanye West. That's like a joke right there. That's like a blink of an eye. There's nothing impressive about that number. 10,000 pairs of shoes. Kanye West shouldn't say that the Yeezy jumped over the jump, man. Just because he hasn't sold not even 100,000 pairs of shoes. Look what Jordan does a month, man. Look at the shoes they run through. I mean, these guys are kicking some serious ass out there in the retail world. So there's no way you can even compare Yeezy to Jordan. Now, I know he was kind of saying in the sense of that no one has been excited like they've been excited about Jordan since the Yeezy release. He has a little bit of a point there because people really are excited whenever he puts out a shoe. It's like really a big deal. So I will give him that. But you can never say that Yeezy jumped over the jump, man. But what he's doing, I think, is he's trying to create, you know, hype by saying this, you know. He says a lot of stuff like that to create hype where we all talk about it. Like right now, I'm talking about it. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, 10,000 pieces, 15,000 pieces, as far as him moving the Yeezy 1 and 2 combined, it may even be less than 10,000. He cannot say that he jumped over the jump, man. As I said, I can move 10,000 Nike shoes. If you gave your boy DJ Dells an opportunity to design a Nike shoe, the most popular brand in the game, Nike. At this time in November 2013, Nike is the most popular brand in the game as far as sneakers. You had me design a Nike shoe, you bet your ass I will sell at least 10,000 easy if they made that many. And who am I as far as a celebrity status versus Kanye West? That's like an ant compared to him being like the Empire State Building, you know what I mean? Like this guy's larger than life right now as far as his career. So he shouldn't say that about jumping over a jump man. I think it's very foolish of him. He does that from time to time, but it does happen to the best of us. I don't hate Kanye West. I'm a fan of Kanye West. And, and these wild and left field statements he say are really entertaining. And I love it. You know what I mean? It's great. You know, he's got people's attention. He's got me speaking on it. And I don't speak on nothing that I don't think is relevant. Because why should I or why would I? That's just foolish of me. I got better things to do with my life than speak about something that no one wants to hear about and then put it out there on YouTube on my show. That's why. You know, when I put something out there, I, I'm putting something out there on the Sneak Erratic show because I know it's something that people want to hear or watch. You know, I would not put something out there that no one is interested in. It's just a waste of your time and my time. But leave your comments. Maybe some of you guys are going to disagree with me and say, Oh man, Kanye West is the greatest ever. He, he didn't just jump over the jump man. He did a fucking triple Lindy over the jump man. You know what I mean? Like he did 5 million flips in the air over the jump man. 
Some people may be like, yo, Kanye West, I hate him. Some people are going to say, I love Kanye West. Some people are going to say that, you know, Kanye West is a genius. Some people are going to say he's an egomaniac. Some may say both. Leave your comments in the box and let me know what you think about Kanye West. And let me know what you think about his statement about Jordan. And I'm very interested to see what everyone's opinion is. And if you didn't listen to my podcast yesterday where I talked about Kanye West signing to Adidas and my thoughts on that, make sure to check that out. It got a lot of great feedback. So go over there. If you listened to it already, go back over there and read the comments so you can see some of other people's opinions on the subject matter because it's very interesting and that's about it for today. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Check out my blog, thesneakerotic.com. And make sure to check out myspizzat.com for your entertainment slash fashion slash music news. I have fun on there too. I put a lot of comedy on there. So check out the myspizzat.com blog. I would check it out like once a day. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different stuff on there. It's real random, but everything on there is interesting and, and entertaining. So go to myspizzat.com kind of different than other blogs it's like a big fruit punch of everything that is dope you know what i mean or entertaining so make sure you check out that blog and with that said i'll be back really really Got a dream, go for it, just do it like Nike No fear, wheelie on the Kawasaki Crack your jaw like the white dude playing hockey Dell's a winner like Rocky Two arms up, champion, can't stop me Wave game, be the team, New York be the city We the best, you we pity See us shining like Diddy Ladies, champ